Welcome back. I'm Wes Wood, the Income Guy. Hey, thanks for joining me today. And we're tackling the question, how much will my retirement cost? So, so far, we've looked at how to do the top-down budget analysis and identify three factors to consider next. Your goals, other income sources, and your strategy. And now, I want to talk about that third one, your retirement strategy. As I said, estimating your lump sum goal based on your estimated income needs to be, certainly, it's definitely a good idea. The, the problem is, is that so many people get just hung up on this lump sum thing. A lot of people think that, hey, once I say a million dollars or maybe a million and a half dollars, now I feel confident about retirement. I know I can pay my bills and achieve my goals and enjoy my retirement on my own terms. But the problem is, that with that kind of thinking is that you could end up getting married to the wrong strategy. You might continue chasing, you might continue chasing portfolio growth long after you've, you need to have switched to focus more on retirement income. And in my experience, investing for income is the right strategy for most investors over 50 years old for several reasons. First reason is most people typically have income-based retirement goals meaning that they want their lifestyle goals, they want to have it paid for out of a regular retirement income stream. They don't want to have to be liquidating or selling shares of, of mutual funds to, to buy a yacht. What they want to do is count on that, that $40,000 that I brought up earlier in last segment, they want it to be coming from the income that their investments are generating. So they can pay for things that they want to do, like pay for travel or, or play golf or perhaps visit their grandchildren. And second, if you're still invested for growth, you, you do run a much higher risk of spending down your principal and running out of money. And that can happen regardless of your lump sum total, which is why your strategy is really important and probably more of an important factor than you may realize. Because once you switched your focus from growth to income, you have a strategically specifically designed portfolio to protect principal while generating interest and dividends at a fixed rate of return. And with this, that kind of strategy, you can feel confident that you not only have plenty of income to meet your goals throughout retirement, but to keep, you, keep your portfolio growing organically. And that means through strategic reinvestment in other income-based strategies. So once you've answered the, the right question of how much my retirement will cost you, investing for income can help you make sure that you can be covered with the peace of mind to know that you can enjoy your retirement and that baseball game. So to learn more, you can reach out to me directly at retiretv.com or by calling me at 855-776-0614 and hey, request your free retirement income kit. Now, let's welcome back income specialist and the founder of the Retirement Income Store, David Scranton. Hello, Dave. Great, well listen, you know, you hit the nail on the head that if you wait till your late 80s or 90s and start taking a little bit of principal, then maybe it's okay. But if you do it in your 70s or early 80s or even worse in your 60s, it's a real slippery slope. So in this example that you gave in the last block, you said uh, you got it down to 40,000 is what that hypothetical person needed in income Correct. from investments. Um, and there's this 4% cash flow rule that maybe some of your viewers have heard, but that doesn't mean that automatically a million dollars will generate 40 grand a year. So it might make sense to take a minute and talk about how much, you, how much more money you might need if you pick the wrong strategy sure. in a lump sum versus if you pick the right strategy. Yep, yeah, exactly right. So we looked at somebody that needed 80,000, they're gonna get 40,000 from social security and other income sources. So they had a gap of 40 grand that needed to come from their investment portfolio. So the problem is, is that if it's still invested for growth and you're taking $40,000 out of a, a growth portfolio, well, there used to be what was called the 4% cash flow rule, but that was, a, that was a Monte Carlo simulated hypothetical example if you back tested it. But that's actually changed. As a matter of fact, Morningstar has updated it because of, of current low interest rate environment and overvalued stocks at only 2.8%. So if you have a growth portfolio, really to get $40,000 distribution every year, um, you need to have about a million and a half dollars. But that's actually spending down principal too. 
And running that simulation now at 2.8% cash flow rule, 40,000 out of a million and a half beginning principal invested for growth, your success rate is 90%. And that's running out of money, which means there's actually a 10% chance of failure. So instead of doing that, investing for growth and just hoping for the best, just simply making a shift, making a shift from the growth to income, and nowadays, even in insured instruments and, and things that may not be insured but have to guarantee a certain interest or dividend payment yearly, you can see around 4% in the form of interest and dividends, which means instead of a million and a half at 2.8% running out of money, now we can take a million dollars, much less money, and generate $40,000 of interest and dividends in a fairly conservative fashion. And the beauty of that, Wes, is that that's not even the old 4% rule. Because that old 4% right. rule was still had a 10% chance of failure. This is yep. really almost 100% chance of success because you're just taking the interest and dividends. You're not touching your principal. But Correct. what are some of the other benefits sometimes of making that transition from the G to the I of investing for income that your viewers might find to be a pleasant surprise? Yeah. Well, not only does it go, you know, reducing risk and actually increasing income or cash flow from investments, uh, but as I mentioned, it actually reduces some risk. So, you know, as you may remember, there's some big corrections and crashes over the last 20 years in the market. For instance, for instance, in 2000, then the financial crisis in 2007, and unfortunately, a lot of people that were still invested for growth were having to liquidate many more shares of those funds when the, when the portfolios were down, therefore running out of money much quicker. So by going from the G to the I or growth to income, it actually reduces risk so we don't have to see nearly that kind of volatility, which is important because folks that are closer to retirement or in retirement uh, don't have all the time in the world to recover. But hey, thanks again, Dave. Thanks for joining me. I'm Wes Wood, the Income Guy. And thanks for watching. Of course, if you have any questions about anything that I've covered on today's show, please reach out to me at retiretv.com or by calling 855-776-0614. fiduciary is someone legally obligated to act in your best interest. Doctors, lawyers, and some financial advisors are fiduciaries, but not all. When you work with Wes Wood and his team at Wood Financial Group, you are working with fiduciaries. They help clients create customized investment portfolios based off their retirement goals. If you're ready to work with a fiduciary, visit RetireTV.com and schedule a free, no obligation conversation with Wes or a Wood Financial Group advisor. I'm David Scranton. During my career, I found that most baby boomers have done a great job growing their retirement savings, yet many don't know how to convert their savings into steady income. And that is why I built the Retirement Income Store, to help hardworking Americans preserve their assets and establish steady streams of income. If you're 55 or older, please claim our free Retirement Income Kit, chock full of information you need to know to get steady income during your retirement. Call 866-714-7377 online at theretirementincomestore.com.